Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. And I'm Johnny Terry. And welcome to another free episode of the Roy Rogers Television Show starring Roy Rogers. And Dale Evans. And Trigger. And Buttermilk. <laughs> it's all brought to you free by Wild West Toys. And you can shop with Wild West Toys online at www.toyguntown.com. Now here comes Roy. Set back in your saddle and enjoy the ride. Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. <laughs> well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. It is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to... To take off that tablecloth. Get to rehearsal, Pat. Wait till they get a load of me as Hamlet. For once they'll see natural born acting. That's what I'm afraid of. You know, all you have to do is put my name a foot high on them posters and you'll have your down payment on the new church the first night. We'd better, because from here it looks like we're just going to play one night. Say, Dale, why don't you leave Buttermilk here at Roy's Ranch and ride over with me and Nellie Bell then you can hear me recite Hamlet's Soli Loqui. Soli Loqui? Pat, that's soliloquy. Oh. I can't. I have to pick up the program. Uh, Dale, be sure they got my name spelled right. Oh, say, is Roy back yet? No, he's still out with the sheriff looking for them bank robbers. Well, I hope they catch him soon. See you at rehearsal. Okay, Dale. <laughs>
Just in time, Barney. Where will I get my horse? Why not take his? Yeah, they don't come any better. Matter. We gotta give these nags a rest or else we're gonna be walking. And we ain't got time to do neither. Hey, look. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether Tim Silver can go on the things of Harold That ain't all going to be killed around here. Now get out. Hold it. We don't know how to run this here contraption. All right, start her up. You don't know what you're asking. Nellie Bell's awful temperamental. Shut up and get her going. Nellie Bell, if you start, I'm a goner. You double-crossing hunk of tin, and after all, I've done for you. You've done that on purpose. No, I didn't. She did. Nellie Bell, baby. All right, move over. Now, how you stalk this thing? It won't do you no good. Nellie Bell won't ping a piston, except for me. Well, you step on that gadget down there. <laughs> See, I told you so. Of all the cockeyed things, this is a cockeyedest. Now, listen, I'm going to try this thing one more time. And it better start. Well, you got to call her by name. Speak kindly toward her. Nellie Bell, sensitive she is. Ah, uh, Nellie Bell. Come on now, be good for old Barney. All right, keep her going. You heard her feelings. I told you she was sensitive. I give up. You think this hunk of tin was alive? You think she isn't? All right, you start her. And you better use all your charm. Nellie Bell, this is old Pat talking to you. Probably for the last time. Now keep her going. Get out. Wait a minute. What if she up and dies on us? We'll never get it started again. We'll take him back with us as far as our hideout. What's the matter with this rotten thing? Well, you got to put it in gear. That gadget's there in the middle. Well, did you have a nice nap? Oh, my head feels as big as a barrel. It serves you right for sending me after one owl hoot who I lost while you go tracing off after two. Who knocked me out? Now we'll have to start trailing them again. Now, wait a minute, fellas. Let's talk this over. We'll keep them here until March shows, and then we'll make our getaway in Lula Bell. It's Nellie Bell. Uh, and besides, you can't. I'm the star of the show. The whole benefit will fall on his face, and the, they won't have no money for the new church without my Hamlet. Who's Hamlet? Me, that's who. 
You mean you never heard of Hamlet's phony loquy? To be or not to be, that is the question. Well, he's nutted in a fruitcake. To be what? To be anything. Oh, you can't be anything. You gotta be something. Now, look. This here feller Hamlet figuring on doing away with himself because his pa died and his ma up and married again. Oh, why should he worry what his old lady does? Because he's got feelings, that's why. There's a whole story right here in this book. Hey, wait a minute. Who's this old gent with his chin whiskers? I've seen that mug someplace before. What's his name? How should I know? I ain't had no book reading. I ain't neither. You mean you can't read? Never had no need to. That face sure looks familiar. I know. It's my Uncle Bill. Hmm. Well, I'll be kissed for a cow. Uncle Bill. What's that old coot got it fixed in the favor for? Horse stealing? I hate to tell you this, Lefty, but your uncle has kicked the bucket. Uncle Bill. Oh, it happens to the best of us. Hey, he left a million dollars in cash and two oil wells to his only living relative, Leroy Young. Leroy. Leroy. I never heard of any Leroy. Hey, that's me. They're talking about me. I'm his only living kin. A million bucks. One million bucks on the hook. Why, congratulations, Lefty. We're rich. You know, Mark Sellers must have found the car and met up with Lefty and Barney. Those tire tracks were plain enough. Yeah, and they must have been in an all-fired hurry to leave their horses behind. Sheriff, oh, Roy, I'm glad you're here. Have you seen Pat? Pat? No. He hasn't gone and lost himself, has he? Well, I don't know. We were supposed to meet at rehearsal, only Pat didn't show up. Well, you know he wouldn't miss a chance to give Hamlet soliloquy if he had to walk. Well, wait a minute. What road did Pat take back to town? Well, the south road, I suppose. It's the shortest. Those car tracks. I thought they looked familiar. That stock I got on the head must have jolted my brain. You mean you think it was Pat that met up with the Sellers gang? The Sellers gang? Oh, no. Look, Sheriff, notify the men who are watching the road and call the Border Patrol. Tell them not to shoot unless they have to. We want Pat back in one piece. I'm going with you. And think what me and you can do with all of that dope. Me and you? Well, we're partners, ain't we? Sure, sure. I'll see that you and Mark got took care of. Oh, it's Mark. Whether it is nobler to enjoy the mines, it's tougher than slings and arrows. Arrows? Oh, they got them Indians and Hamlets, too? If they are, I'd sure like to see them. Who's that? Pat Brady. Roy Rogers' sight. Roy Rogers, you idiot. Why'd you keep a gun on him? Oh, don't get nervous. Uh, Mark, we, we picked him up in Waterloo. Nellie Bell. Water Bell? Nellie Bell? What's this all about? Oh, it's a four-wheel contraption. We got a head in the brush out in back of the shack. Looks like we're going to need it, and quick. Take a squint at that. What does it say? Wanted for armed robbery. I can read. Mart Seller, Barney Ord, Lefty Young. Wanted by the authorities in Wyoming, Montana, Arizona, Idaho, New Mexico. So oh, we sure get around, don't we? Oh, that's not important. Take a look at that. See that picture? That's my Uncle William. Any will, Lefty? One million dollars. From now on, you'll be obliged to call me Leroy. Oh, sure, left uh, Leroy. One million dollars. <whistles> but the question is... Yeah, we know, to be or not to be. No, no. The question is, how is Lefty going to collect it? Why, well, I'll just, uh, I, I'll... Oh, sit down. I'll figure it out. What in the world were they trying to do, wreck that Jeep? Well, I don't know, but Pat wouldn't be driving Nellie Bell like that unless she was hurt. Maybe Pat wasn't driving. Barney or Lefty could have been driving the Jeep. Well, and what'd they do with Pat? Well, don't worry, Dale. We'll find him. Bullet, we'll go find Pat. <coughs> go find him, boy. <coughs> there must be some way to get a hold of that money. Maybe we can steal it. It ain't wrong to steal your own money, is it? It sure is. That money isn't yours till it's handed over legal. And you can't collect it without going to jail. Not for years, mind you, but for the rest of your life. 
That's what I get for running around with you crooks. You let me off the straight and narrow path. If I hadn't listened to you, I'd be spending that million bucks right now. Think you forget me was already in jail when I met you? Both you and Barney? Quit it, both of you. We got some thinking to do. Now, what is saying this here paper again? That if Leroy Peters Young will get in touch with Mr. Ingleberry, that's the lawyer, and can identify himself, the estate will be turned over to him. I got it. This here Ingleberry, whatever his name is, he don't know who I am. So what? So I tell Pat all about my Uncle Bill, and he pretends to be me and collects the money for us. Oh, I can't. I gotta be Hamlet. It's my big chance. Your big chance? What about mine? It won't work. This Brady guy's almost as well known as Roy Rogers. I got it. Hamlet, you can represent Lefty. Go get the money, see the attorney, and bring it to me. I mean, both of us. You know, I think you got an idea there. Oh, no, you don't. I ain't representing no crook. I got my reputation to think of. Listen, you squirt. You're going to do exactly as I tell you to do. Or I'll take you apart just like a watch. It happened. Nella Bell won't start without me. We don't need her. We'll rustle up some horses. Quiet. <laughs> Rogers and Dale Evans. He's trailed us. Yeah. And for them, the end of the trail. Wait! I'll do anything you want, just so you leave them alone. Leave them alone? They're the ones who'll bust them in. We can sneak out the back before they even spot us. Nelly Bell's out there ready and waiting. Yeah, that might not hurt to try. Let's go. Looks like they headed for Soda Springs. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Ingleberry. That's right, Mr. Ingleberry. What's the matter with you, Mott? You wet my aunt on a hot stove. We are just asking for trouble hiding in Rogers' house. Well, we had to phone the attorney, didn't we? Besides, this is the last place anybody will think of looking for us. Be sure he brings the money. Uh-huh. Well, I'll see you then, Mr. Ingleberry. <laughs> Goodbye. What'd he say? He'll be in on the next stage, and I'm to meet him at the hotel, Mineral City. <laughs> it sure beats me. They must have gone to ground somewhere. Well, Sheriff, where's that county man? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Right here, but I don't know what good it'll do. Well, we might find out something. Uh, well, Dale, when we find Pat, he'll need a clean shirt and a razor and a few things. Would you mind stopping by my ranch and bringing them in to him? Of course not, Roy. Oh, and I'll bring a thermos of hot coffee, too. Pretty sure you'll find him, aren't you? I want her to be sure. If she's kept busy, she won't worry so much about him. Well, let's see now. You got the horses saddled. Roger's got some buttes in the corral. That'll drive Nellie Bell into town and we'll follow him. What's going to keep him from hollering his head off the minute he gets there? I give you my word, didn't I? I'll plug him if he so much as peeks. And have to shoot our way out? That'll cost us the dough. Now listen, fellas. Well, if it isn't Roger's girl Friday. Stay! Game. 
ready to make you. Barney, you stay here and keep your eye on him. We won't have to worry about this guy anymore. With us holding the dame, he'll be as good as go. On your feet. Nice going, Mark. Come on, come on. Miss Dale, don't try nothing. We might as well be comfortable. You want some coffee? No, thank you. Yes, ma'am. They could have left the road and headed across the mesa. Well, if they did, they're probably stranded. How'd you get away? To be or not to be? That is the question. It's okay. He's just spouting that there play. The palace is surrounded. Surrounded. They threaten Hamlet's life. They threaten the lives of his friends. He's off his rocker. Say, Pat, you're better than ever. You can count on the sheriff and me being in the front row. This is one version of Hamlet I don't want to miss. Let's go, Sheriff. That big ham, he's nuts about that play. Get over there and keep an eye on the hotel. Let's sneak down behind these buildings. Keep an eye out for the seller's game. They followed Pat here. That's what he was trying to tell us. Quick. put my money in no bank. Some dirty thief now to come along and steal it. Well, you can't carry a third of a million dollars in your pocket. And that's what you said you were going to get from Lefty's inheritance. Now you try to write it again. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Keep trying. You're doing fine. Mm. All right. Oh, no, you don't. Oh! Dale, and then you went and spoiled everything. Sorry, Pat. Next time. <laughs> well, that takes care of the seller's gang. And the reward will cover the down payment on the church, so we won't have to do that benefit. What? You mean I don't get a chance to do Hamlet? Well, thank goodness. Just when I was getting into the feel of the part. To be are not to be. That is the question. 
It always has been, Pat, to be on the side of justice and the law or to be against everything that's right and honorable. And to be on the wrong side means to end up in jail. Lefty found out the hard way that sooner or later a man's past catches up with him. Yeah, it's cost him a million dollars. Me, my big chance. Just think what a Hamlet I'd have made. Ham is right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the Roy Rogers Show. We appreciate you. If you enjoyed the Roy Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, subscribe to our channel because we aim to bring you lots of fantastic free westerns. Happy trails and may the good Lord take a liking to you. <laughs>